welcome back to trying something new. Today is my birthday. Woohoo! For my birthday, I would like to. Tr we're st sorry, we're still in South Korea, um, and we'll get to our. We're going to try some churro cinnamon multigrain chips and some truffle. What did you call them? What did you say they were? Korean truffle potato chips, the caviar of mushrooms on Korean chips. But first, as a birthday experiment, have you seen the uh, synchronized clap challenge? Where you close your eyes and you hold your hands out like this, and we try to clap at the same time. Are we to say no anything? peeking. The Are camera will see anything? you peeking. You were not allowed to say anything. There's okay. no nudging. They, just to see if we're in sync, father and daughter. I don't think so. You don't think so? Are you ready to give it a try? Okay. All right. So you hold your hands out like this. Don't don't touch. Don't let me know that you're doing it. You close your eyes. You close. Okay. And then we try to guess. When the other person is going to clap. Oh, I was just about to do it. Do it again. I can't. Yeah, come on. Can you just say when we start? Because like, I don't know. All right, let's start. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Not too bad. All right. Which one are we going to try first? The truffle mushroom? Yeah. All right. Open them up. Black truffles are expensive. A quarter pound can cost over $2,000. And when you have to import them from Europe, like Korea does, they get even more expensive. Mm, so South Korea did what South Korean, Korea does. They innovated. Researchers recently planted European gourmet truffles throughout Jiola province using a wide variety of cultivation methods in the hopes of guaranteeing success. We'll have to wait and see if they take root, but in the meantime, you can snack on Korea's most expensive flavor by chomping into this yum with their finger-licking earthy truffle seasoning. These chips prove that good things come to those who wait. We've had truffle chips before. No, yeah, not these. Wow, these are strong. I'm surprised. You like them? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had like these. Mmm. Doesn't taste like mushrooms. What does it taste like? You don't like mushrooms. You don't eat mushrooms. But what does it taste like to you? I don't even know. Come on, there must be something more in here that's giving us that flavor. Potato, palm oil is the second ingredient. Truffle seasoning is the third ingredient glucose, and then sugar. So we're definitely tasting some sweetness in here that I'm guessing we wouldn't normally taste. I can't, um, breathe through my nose lately. I'm sorry, what? It's been hard to breathe through my nose lately. Like, I can breathe, but it makes a sound. It's like really annoying. <laughs> Does it whistle? No. Did you hear me last night? I was like dying. Nope, didn't hear you. I like these. How would you like to rate them? Um, oh. I don't know. Come get it, Scar. Good job. A four? Really? I would get these again. I would say they're five. Okay. I'll give it a five. All right. Our first five from Korea. 
Would you like to read us a trivia question? Did we do one or two last time? I don't know. I think I got the first one right, but the second one wrong. the second one. Well, read it to me and we'll find out. Um, what South Korean festival celebrates nail polish, kites, cheese, or mud? Nail polish, kites, cheese, and mud. Yeah, I don't think you've done this one yet. I don't think so either. Uh, I'm going to say mud. Uh huh. Really? <laughs> the reason I guess that is because they probably made homes out of mud or bricks out of mud, so they celebrate the fact that it's available to them. Way back when. Before concrete. Did you mark it down? No, I will. All right. Cinnamon sugar churros. One bite, you know, get why Korea is hooked. She licking your pants? Surprised to see churros in a South Korean box? Then you'll be extra surprised to learn that the Spanish treats are a South Korean Korean sensation. At first available only at amusement parks and movie theaters, churros exploded in 2010 thanks to the opening of chains like Sweet Churros and Churro 101. Between 2013 and 2014 alone, the number of churro shops in Seoul more than quadrupled, and now those shops can sell over 3,000 churros per day. And did we mention their superstar boy band, BTS's favorite snack? So what are you waiting for? Take a bite of this yum and taste the South Korean craze in its crunchiest, cutest form ever. Well, now I don't know if I'm going to like this snack because it's BTS's favorite. And you don't like BTS? It says open on hand Weird, they have first look at the back. It's definitely Spanish. Crispy churro snack flavored with cinnamon sugar, five grains, and maple syrup. But it's got open on the on the side. Oh, it's the thing on the back. What thing right on the back? Right here. That, that's not where it says open. It says open here and here. Well, look. You go like this. That's where the open thing is. It's not where the open thing is. Getting weak in my old age. Ah, that smells good. Are you ready to give up on those so we can, or do you want to finish all the crumbs? I'll throw some out there. <laughs> All right, let's try one of these churros. Smells sweet. Mmm. It's like a dessert compared to the truffle chips. Cinnamon and sugar. And it's almost like a pasta shaped Flour. I know it's wheat, but it looks pasta shaped. Why are you shaking your head at me? It's just like a flower. Well, not really. But that looks like a flower. Look at how 
have them and it tastes exactly like this before. I'm sorry, what? I feel like I've had them that taste just like this before. I don't know what it is. I don't think it was these. We've been to South Korea before, but I don't think it's these. The truffle chips, yes, but I don't remember us liking them as much as we did. Maybe they came from somewhere else. Maybe that was a, a France yum. I don't know. I'll give this a three and a half. What do you think? You're going to give it a four? All right. Are you going to do another trivia question before we say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. hush up. On the Korean holiday known as Black Day, single people eat black sauce noodles. The internet shuts down for 24 hours. Everyone donates black umbrellas or stores sell black colored items at half price. <laughs> All right. Can you pause in between the question and the answers? Because I got all jumbled up in my head. They celebrate Black Day. And on Black Day, they do what? Single people eat black sauce noodles. The, the internet shuts down for 24 hours. Everyone donates black umbrellas or stores sell black colored items at half price. I you know. I want to say either one or two. Either single people eat black pasta, which sounds ridiculous. Black sauce noodles. Black sauce noodles. Again, it sounds ridiculous, but maybe they're doing it so that they are not single anymore. But I, I want, I want to believe that it's. They turn off the internet for 24 hours. I can't imagine that they would actually do that. Maybe everybody says they'll turn it off, but... This is a hard one. Or they donate black umbrellas to where? I don't know. To black umbrella stores? Or... All stores that have black items, they sell at 50% off? No. Nah. They gotta, only sell the black items. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the one or two. I, I need a hint. No, can can no. you give me a hint? No, I don't know. I'm like, like shelters and stuff. Maybe. But why just black ones? That doesn't make sense. Because black ones because it's black day. Ah. I'm going to say they turn off the internet for 24 hours. Go black. It's a single people one. It is. I knew it was one or two. What makes the noodles black? And why do they do it? And then we'll take it back. It's a black bean sauce smothered noodles. And they're considered the ultimate comfort food. You're acting like a child. My birthday, I can act however I want. That's not how it works. You can't <laughs> kill someone and then be like, it's my birthday, I can't go to jail, I can do whatever I, I want. I can do whatever I want as long as I don't cause harm to anybody else. So it's a black bean 
sauce and why do they do it? Um, um, February 14th is Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. The women give their crushes gifts and then on March 14th or White Day, the crushes will return the favor. And on April 14th, if you did receive a gift, um, you either, yeah. If you didn't receive the gift on April 14th, you will eat that because it's the ultimate comfort food. Interesting. I wonder if that's our recipe. No. In each booklet, they give us a recipe, and this one is make sundubu, Korea's spicy tofu stew, which I don't think we'll be making. That'll do it for today's episode. A happy birthday to me. I still haven't gotten my birthday hug. Yeah, you're looking very uncomfortable, too. <laughs> That's not a hug. <laughs> All right, give us a like. Give us a comment. Give us a share. Hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Until next time, have a good day. Happy birthday to me.